When the Babylonians looked at Gemini, they also saw twins. They called them the Great Twins. And interestingly enough, they were associated with some pretty dark omens. So I'm going to read some entries from Babylonian Star Lore by Gavin White and flesh out some of this history for you. I think it's fascinating. To begin with, he says, In Babylonia, the zodiac constellation of Gemini was known as the Great Twins. Like their mythological Greek counterparts, the Dioscuri, the Babylonian twins were depicted as a pair of warriors armed to the hilt. To me, this makes a lot of sense, given uh, a lot of the oppositional sort of themes that come with Gemini and with one twin killing the other, right? Moving on, he says, A Nero-Assyrian text describes their constellation figures as two bearded males. The front twin carries a weapon called a Hinsu in his right hand, while the rear twin carries a sickle axe in his left hand. The warlike nature of the great twins is vividly portrayed throughout the corpus of celestial omens. So as an example, quote, If Venus stands between the great twins, the land will become altogether hostile. And then things get worse when Mars is near the twins. And if the warlike Mars nears them, a twofold woe is brought upon the land. Quote, if the strange star, Mars, approaches the twins, the prince will die and hostilities will arise. The twins were envisioned, weapons at the ready, guarding one of the entrances to the underworld. In Babylonian tradition, there are actually two entrances to the underworld, each of which is associated with one of the solstices. The wintertime entrance is primarily used by discarnate souls journeying to the afterlife, but the summer entrance, located in the region of the crab, which would be cancer, is used by the spirit of the ancestors when they return to earth to visit their family homes for the great ancestral festival celebrated in month five. The summertime entrance is also the route that the souls of newborn babies use to enter into the world of men. So the Babylonians considered cancer to be the gateway of man, where we incarnate through, and then Capricorn was considered the gateway of the gods, where we exit through. The twins probably guard this entrance to prevent the ingress of evil demons, which are sometimes said to use this otherworldly portal to bring plague and disease to mankind. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that a lot of desert cultures have a correspondence with death and the underworld with summer because the summer heat brings with it a lot of death. He says that Nurgle, the lord of the underworld, is associated with the twins as well. There's more information in here, but I just highlighted some of the uh, key things that I wanted to mention to you guys. So lastly here, what I'll read, he says, Befitting their associations to the disease-bringing Nurgle, the great twins are mentioned in medical texts as a cause of disease. There are specific illnesses called seizure by Lugalira, possibly a form of epilepsy, and, quote, covering by the twins, associated with the winds and flies. A fragmentary omen that involves the twins predicts that, quote, in a cod, Enlil will cause leprosy and epilepsy, and Nurgle will devour the cattle. So hopefully you got something out of that. I thought it was interesting. As always, I would love to know what you think. Thanks.